gas-guzzling monsters, there's a new Echo Warrior in town. And it's not your average run-of-the-mill epic. Enter the Quet Velo. The four-wheeled marvel designed to bridge the gap between Echo Consciousness and the need for something more substantial than your grandma's bicycle. Crafted by the Brainiacs at Euro Circuits, this single-seater Velomobile is like the love child of a sleek sports car and a pedal-powered dream. Picture yourself cruising down the street in a powder-coated 7,075 aluminum alloy frame, enclosed in a fiberglass body that's tougher than your New Year's resolutions. But wait, there's more. It's not just about looks. The Qued Velo comes with optional removable doors because, let's face it, sometimes you want to feel the wind in your hair, and other times you want to keep the rain out of your eyes. And for the many Echo Warriors in training, there's even an optional child seat in the cargo area. Because why should adults have all the fun, but hold on to your helmets, folks? Because here's where it gets really exciting. A 9-speed rear derailleur drift train with a motor that packs a punch. Delivering 112 newton meters of torque, because who doesn't love a little extra oomph? And fear not, dear viewers. For this marvel of engineering can hit a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. All while keeping you eco-friendly and fabulous. And don't worry about running out of juice halfway through your adventure. One charge of the 48 volts, 17R lithium battery will reportedly take you up to 75 kilometers. Need more? Just opt for a second battery and double that figure because why settle for anything less? Measuring in at 250 centimeters long, 84 centimeters wide, and 133 centimeters high, this bad boy can carry a maximum load of 200 kilograms, which means you can bring along all your essentials for the ride, and then some. Now, you may be thinking, but how much does this masterpiece cost? Well, brace yourselves, folks. Because luxury comes at a price, starting at a mere 11,000 to 150 euros, and sorry. Dear friends across the pond, this marvel of modern transportation is currently an EU exclusive. Because apparently, Europe gets all the cool toys first. 